I'm not so sure we can screen the large number that are coming in. So really, I think we have to consider how large a number we want to admit from these different countries. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul weighing in on the ongoing debate about accepting Syrian refugees. Yeah, the presidential hopeful was in northern Kentucky today, still looking for a way to have a breakout moment and get some momentum going in that campaign. WLWT News 5's John London tracked most of the U.S. Senator's day, and he joins us live from the newsroom right now. Hi, John. Yeah, Mike, he's trying to do that by continuing to beat the privacy drum, saying America does not need more spying on its citizens or more phone record data collection or surveillance, asking how much liberty are we willing to give up for a false sense of security. Still lagging in the polls, still getting trumped in the attention-grabbing department, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul has a new book out, Our Presidents and Their Prayers. After signing a whole bunch of them this morning at Joseph Beth in Crestview Hills, he told us if he becomes president, the idea of a U.S. ground war to fight ISIS might not have a prayer. If we have any boots on the ground, they need to be Arab boots on the ground. The only long-lasting victory and the only long-lasting peace is going to come when Islam rises up and says, we are going to stamp out this aberration that is not really true Islam. They're never going to accept a peace that's enforced by people who are not of the same religion. Senator Paul says Donald Trump's call to monitor certain mosques is inconsistent with the American concept of religious freedom. We asked some of his supporters if they're bummed about Paul's lack of traction in the polls so far. Yeah, I am. I am. But I'm hoping that'll change. You know, you never know. I'm, I, th I think he's the only candidate that I've seen that'll stand up to Donald Trump on the stage. His stage over the next several days will involve roundtable forums like this one at the Home Builders Association of Northern Kentucky, where he criticized tax policies that incentivize big companies to leave. If I had my way, I would just tomorrow lower the corporate tax. It's what they did in Canada. He's also trying to write a new chapter to the current refugee debate, calling out American allies such as Saudi Arabia. They're the ones actually giving a lot of arms and weapons to radical Islamists. They're taking zero refugees. And according to Senator Paul, 150,000 students come from the Middle East to the U.S. every year. He believes it's important to know precisely how many have stayed beyond their visa, who they are, and where they are. Mike? All right, John London, thank you. Senator Paul also pointing out there's an inherent risk from visa waiver countries like England, France, and Germany. He would like to see that program tightened up as well. And you know what? It wasn't just local reporters interviewing Senator Paul today. High school freshman Skylar Smith had her questions ready as well. She was selected from her Dixie Heights Advanced Placement Government class to pose a few questions to Senator Paul today. And she's already tuned in to how much government policies matter. It goes down even to the most basic local level. So clearly it's got importance in terms of whether I should care about it. And considering how low political efficacy is in young people nowadays, it is really worrisome for me that most people who vote are of the older generation. I think we need Skylar on our WLWT team someday. <laughs> Skylar telling us that she'd like to light a fire under the young generation about paying attention and voting. Yeah, she's definitely with it for sure. You can find the latest on all the candidates for the 2016 presidential race online and on the go on our website, WLWT.com, or on our WLWT app. Hard to believe, but it has.